Hello my crafty friends, it's Ellie from Periwinkle Matilda. I'm sure you're wondering what I'm up to today in my craft room. And I've been participating in a swap. It's a loaded envelope swap and uh, there's a list of requirements that we need to make to include in our swap. And one of the things was um, these decorative wands. They're called decorative wands, but I think they're like flower decor. Wand flower decor is what I'm going to call them. <clears throat> and I made these two to include in my swap. I made these for fall. And I just thought they were really fun. You can... Um, use it in center pieces um, you could put it in cupcakes you can send it in happy mail um, in swaps etc there's so much that you can do with these and they're so much fun so i'll tell you how i made these uh, i purchased at dollar tree these paper decorative straws and I got them in the party section and I just thought they were nice fall colors um, you will need a book page and I just used you can use any size book page I used one that is eight by five um, and so you take one page, you only need one page per flower and you fold it in half long ways, then you fold it in half again and then you fold it in half again and then you need to fold it in half again so because it's getting thick I unfold it and then I fold half of it in half should be using my bone folder and then in half again I think it's like 16 folds I think it makes 16 accordion folds and then what I do is I fold it in half this way because I'm gonna cut it and I just tear it And then I fold it in half again. Wait, is that what I did? Yeah. Fold it in half this way. So you've got the lines going like this. And you want to fold it in half the opposite way that the lines are folded. And then cut it in half. And then do it with this piece. So I hope everyone's doing well today. We're having pretty nice weather. Ran my errands, went to Dollar Tree, my usual Saturday. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to um, accordion fold it. that and on the first piece I kind of straighten it up with the scissors to make a nice edge 
And you're going to put some glue. On one end of it. Oops. And then you're going to take the end of the next piece and attach it. Like so. And then accordion fold it up. And you're going to do that with all four pieces. What I do is when I finish folding up, I just straighten the end so that's all even. Fold it up, make sure it's straight, Doesn't have to be perfect when it unfolds you don't see any imperfections if it's not like exactly folded the same but I do like to make sure they're all the same length so now we just have the last piece to attach All this glue stuck to my fingers. So yeah, I've never made these before. And when I figured out how to make it, I thought they turned out so cute and they were a lot of fun to make. I thought I would just share it with everyone. Okay, so we have it all folded up. Then what you're going to do is you're going to attach the two ends together. Just like that. This is a great way to, to use up your book pages. And what I did was I cut out out of cardstock two uh, two inch circles, and I'm just going to ink it up real quick. Okay, so 
And this is a little bit of the fiddly part, but you can do this. It's not that hard. So you're going to set it out like this. Put my bone fo folder on top to kind of keep it together. Put a good amount of glue on one of the circles. Put it in the center and kind of squish all the pieces in and then hold the circle down so that it, it will attach. Takes a little bit with the Beacon 3-in-1 glue to attach, but I like it because I don't want to use the Art Glitter glue. I want to have some time to get everything where I want it to be. So I just keep making sure that all the ends are pushed into the center. Hold it down for a minute. it over and you can see <clears throat> that everything's tidy into the center flip it back over and make sure that everything's centered the way I like it okay and then I take my next two inch circle put a good amount of glue on you want to put a good amount of glue because it'll like seep down into the paper and that's what you want so that it will um, attach. Put it in the center. Hold it down for a minute. I think they're so pretty. So cute. Great for Happy Mail. So once I think it's attached pretty well, then I just ink up around the outside edge of the flowers. You could use um, the gold wax. or any color. Um, I do have pink ink. I could have used the pink. That would have been pretty. And I ink up both sides. This would look really pretty on gifts or gift wrapping decor. You don't have to put it on a straw to make it a wand. You could attach this to a journal, journal page, journal cover. There's a lot of things that you can do with them. And then I just fill up one little area with a bunch of glue. Make sure that I get glue everywhere on the straw. Push it up to the top. And there you have it. A pretty little flower wand. So I do hope you try these at home. These would be really cute to make with kids, I think. And yeah, so um, I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. Stay safe. 
And until the next video, bye-bye, friends.